Welcome to Riverside Tai Chi. It's your time again here with uh, Sifu Jesse Powell. And I got a question from uh, one of the viewers, and he wanted to know, you know, basically, it's a whole involved email, but basically, if Tai Chi is soft, how does it, how is it powerful when you're using it in, you know, a fight or, or a competition or whatever? How do you get the power out of something that's soft? Well, the power of Tai Chi, the power of internal Kung Fu, whether it's Tai Chi, Xing Yi, Bagua, whatever style it is, is based on compression and expansion of the joints. So basically, um, the joints open, they open and compress, all of them, from your, your fingers, your wrists, your elbows, shoulders, the spine, hips, knees, ankles, the bones in the feet, you know, the toes, anything that has a space in between it compresses and expands. So the combination of different body parts compressing and expanding at different times is what gives it the power. Um, I did a video a while back just, you know, messing around with one of my buddies and we did demonstrate the unbendable arm. Unbendable arm works on that principle of expanding the joints. So, or expanding the, you know, expanding the elbow joint, wrist, and shoulder, and it creates a very powerful uh, extension or bridge or, or a powerful limb, you know? So, it's, it's a little bit different than muscular contraction for strength, so it's, it's, sometimes it's a little hard to understand for people, but it's basically the joints, they have um, synovial sacs in between them, so, and it's filled with synovial fluid. Synovial sac, synovial fluid, right? But those compress, as the joints compress, they press the sac, and then, poof, puff open. So it's, you can develop that by, um, the, the form helps you develop it, but you, there's different exercises you could do where you actually use a partner, or you could do it to yourself, kind of, it's a little weird if you do it to yourself, but you know, anyway, you take a partner and you expand the wrist, Compress. I don't know if you could see this because my camera's not that great, but the wrist gets longer, the wrist gets compressed. So you do that with various parts of the body. You do it with the wrist, elbow, shoulders. You could do it with the legs. Have a person lay down. You know, you take turns doing this, and you get a feeling for like an elastic kind of opening, relaxing opening, a relaxing or relaxing into compression feeling. So <clears throat> that's where the power derives from. It's kind of like little mini hydraulic pumps, you know, and the more you can do it and the more you can combine different parts of the body, the more power you're able to issue. Um, and that's, that's really, yeah, you could say it's energetic, but it's also a physical level where, you know, you're doing this with the joints. You could say it's internal because it's the mind controlling the body, but it's an aspect of internal, but it's still a physical manifestation. It's not some spiritual mumbo jumbo uh, fantasy stuff. It's it's actual body mechanics. This is what we say when we talk about body mechanics, and it's something that those who are good know how to do, and those who don't, they get stuck. So they're they're still like struggling and using physical force to try and you know, overcome their opponents, and it's not quite internal. So, when you're, you know, when you're using all that physical force, it's not really, or, or muscular tension, tension type uh, actions, it's not really internal. But, I'm gonna show a little bit more, and uh, hopefully you can see this. What you're gonna see is my, uh, is my elbow joint, and you can see it better from the crook of the elbow, so that's what you'll be looking at. Take a look at that.
So basically that's what happens all throughout the body. Um, I hope you were able to see that well and that's what happens. Everything compresses and expands. It's not just a, it's not just a, uh, you know, folding or, or, or folding and straightening. Everything that it folds in expands out from the joint. So, you know, try it out. Try that exercise with a partner where you um, extend the joints. Be gentle. Don't do it in a rough manner because you don't want to hurt anybody. So just gently let them relax, open, and then compress the joint close. So try it out. Hope that helps. Hope that answers your question on how uh, Tai Chi, if it's soft, can be powerful or any internal Kung Fu for that matter. All right. Talk to you soon. Train smart. Train well.